president tried to emphasize yesterday as we got ready, we got ready for day one of a brand new Congress, and everyone just applauding Nancy Pelosi, as if we've never had a House speaker before, as if we haven't had a female speaker before, as if we haven't had Nancy Pelosi before. We've had all those things. So the president made a really good move at a briefing. He didn't want to risk stepping on his message, in my estimation. So he came out and made a statement, then brought up some experts to talk about what's happening at our border and what a border barrier would be and what it would mean. Art Del Cueto is a, a, is a vice president of the National Border Patrol Council. He talked about what this all means. Cut five. We are all affected by the shutdown. We have skin in the game. However, it comes down to border security. It has nothing to do with political parties. You all got to ask yourself this question. If I come to your home, do you want me to knock on the front door or do you want me to climb through that window? We fully support the president and all his efforts to secure our nation's borders. Okay, keep in mind, I'm playing this, you're hearing this, Fox runs this. Why? Because it's news. The president needs experts. This is an expert. Guess who else is playing it? Basically, no other network. So you're not getting the news. You're not getting a, a, a 180 degree look at a very simple situation. People think it's immoral to put up a barrier in your country. I mean, since when is that immoral? And if that's immoral, as Mike Lee says, and you'll hear him, he says, if you think it's immoral, Nancy Pelosi, to have a fence separating your country or a border barrier, then we should take up the 630 miles that we have already. Donald Trump. You can go to barrier, you can go at whatever you want, but essentially we need protection in our country. We're going to make it good. Uh, the people of our country want it. I have never had so much support as I have in the last week over my stance for border security, for border control, and for, frankly, the wall or the barrier. I have never had anything like it in terms of calls coming in, in terms of people writing in and tweeting and doing whatever they have to do. I've never had this much support. Uh, my, only, my only criticism of the president here is he has waited too long. My criticism is as soon as his budget started to take shape and there was only 1.3 and less of border security, he should have said, hey, Paul Ryan, go back. I'm not going to sign this. Kevin McCarthy, you talk to him every day. And I know no one expected pre uh, the 41st president of the United States to pass away and that delayed things, but this should have been done before the summer. So Richard Shelby came out and predicted Thursday that the shutdown would last for months. Uh, and the Republicans have a little bit of a problem. They got two Republican senators, Susan Collins and Senator, uh, the senator from Colorado, Cory Gardner, who have basically said, let's reopen the government and start negotiating. But you can't. Senators, you cannot negotiate if you give Democrats exactly what they want. And that is, business as usual, to turn around and say we're not funding the wall, the fence, the barrier, the slats, whatever you want to call them. So Alan Dershowitz said yesterday what I've been saying all along. What bothers me most of this immigration debate is I believe Democrats and Republicans agree on 80% of it. Is it the last 20 in which they decide to take sides, run, and raise money off it? Cut nine. Everybody has to follow. Tragedy is that the vast majority of Americans, Republican or Democrat, agree on what they want as immigration policy. They want to see good people run into the country. They want to see light more preparation. Yeah. yeah. And they want to make sure that illegal immigrants don't come in and don't get ahead of the line in front of illegal immigrants. Everybody agrees on that. But the Democrats and Republicans are each playing politics with this. Yeah. Uh, and I, I put it, this is where I differ. If they go to comprehensive and they doesn't get anywhere, I would say both sides are playing politics with this. But when you talk about a barrier at the border, the president's already given up by saying, uh, given in a little bit, by saying I'm not going to build a solid 20, 25-foot wall. Because he's listened to the men and women that do this. He said, I, I need to be able to see through it. And fence will work fine. It'll be a little bit cheaper. And we can get more miles. He said, all right, if you can improve it, that's great. So he's been convinced of that. What bothered me most about what happened yesterday is all we heard about is investigation and impeachment. And Nancy Pelosi said, maybe she's just giving lip service to it. We're not talking about impeachment. Wait for the Mueller probe to come out. Wait for the investigation to, come to go through. But that didn't stop. Congressman Brad Sherman, California. I'm going to offer articles of impeachment that I already brought up. And people like Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib, who goes on a MoveOn.org party celebrating her win, and says this with her son there, cut 14. And when your son looks at you and says, Mama, look, you won. Is this unbelievable? I mean, you would expect that at some type of concert. You don't expect that among a politician trying to get off on the right foot in order to be someone that you're uh,
their lifespans are decreasing and many are dying from alcoholism, drug overdoses, liver disease, or simply a broken heart caused by economic despair. You believe this? Donald Trump supporters are not only deplorable, they're alcoholics dying early of diseases. I mean, you would almost think a lab track would, would be would be warranted. So, one eight six six four zero eight seven six six nine. Are you willing to dig in for a long impasse, even if you're one of the people who have a friend or family or yourself who are part of the eight hundred thousand that are going to be affected, uh, which in the short term could hurt us in cyber security and could actually hurt us in border security? Uh, we'll get the mail. The IRS will still demand our tax returns. We just got to get a refund delay if you're supposed to get a refund. And we'll talk about that with Roy Burdock. How Democrats say they want border security, but smart security, they don't want any. And we'll talk about what the president's going to be in for for the next two years. Is school thought the president's going to have a nightmare for the next two years? They're, okay. I, I Maybe I'm thinking hopelessly optimistic, but I actually think they could get something done on a few fronts. And the president could actually use the opposition party to say, hey, I got, I got split government. I had to do this. And to keep his conservative base at bay. one 408 7669 we have so many new affiliates. I know you're hearing the show for the first time. Hope you like it. We love doing it. Back with Roy Murdoch, then Mike Allen, then your phone calls on The Brian Kilmeade Show. Questioning everything. It's Brian Kilmeade. We try to make healthy choices. But do you ever choose the air you breathe? Now you can with a complete indoor air quality package from Wavehope Solutions. Included is the Wave Smart Ventilation Unit with computerized sensor control and app to reduce moisture, mold, odors, and insect infestation from your basement or crawl space. It also expels harmful gases such as radon, carbon monoxide, and other pollutants. Addressing the worst air in your home will transform the entire house. Add the Wave six-stage hospital-grade air purifier, the only one with HEPA filtration, to you and other processes for a 99% kill rate of a broad range of pollutants and allergens. The Wave Indoor Air Quality Package will make your home a drier, cleaner, and healthier one all year round. It's time you choose the air you breathe. Choose Wave Home Solutions. Call 888-979-WAVE. That's 888-979-WAVE. Or visit dryhousenow.com. Dryhousenow.com. Wave Home Solutions for a healthy Right. 